Hey guys, it's Manda Panda, and this month I am coming to you guys with a second Fan Custom Friday video sponsored by Quid, the cool new app that lets you collect and trade officially licensed stickers, cards, and 3D figures from all of your favorite characters like Rick and Morty, Bob's Burgers, Five Nights at Freddy's, and so many more. You gotta check it out. My favorite is Five Nights at Freddy's. I am trying to collect all of the My Moji stickers, all of the Funko Pops. I just want to collect everything. Oh my gosh, look at this really awesome 3D Chica figurine that I just got out of that 3D box. Let me open up some of these cards. There are lots of starter pouches that you can get for free if you check the feed at the front. So let's see what we get in this little starter pack. A Foxy, a Bonnie, a Chica, another Bonnie, another Foxy. So I got lots of dupes that I can actually trade with you guys if you download the app and add me as your friend it does let you download lots of free pouches a day so I'm just gonna keep on going and let's see who's in here spring trap chica oh there's only three in there those are all the free ones I can get from this post let me check the feed and see if there's anything else I can get real quick and then we'll check out my entire collection so far I don't have that many but I'm gonna keep on collecting keep on trading Ooh, a sweet glowing jumbo pack for free. Let's see what's inside here. Chica, Foxy, ooh, a golden puppet, spring trap, another spring trap, Foxy, ooh, a mangle, Chica. Some of those were dupes to ones that I already had. And here's my full collection. You can see it keeps track of how many you have, how many you need. Really cool. I only have one collection that's complete and that's the my my emoji starter pack and that one is completely done I have tons and tons of stickers that I can trade with you guys on the trading post all you got to do is download the app using the link down in the description box below and add me as a friend my username is Amanda Panda TC I'm so excited to start trading with you guys again special thanks to quid for sponsoring this fan custom Friday and without further ado here it is hey guys it's Amanda Panda and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies and I make it in real life on my channel. And the winner of this month's second Fan Custom Friday is Dark Winter. Dark Winter was submitted to me by Kayla. And Dark Winter was always picked on as a filly, but she didn't let the bullies get to her and she grew up to be very nice and kind. Dark Winter loved the winter time and got her cutie mark during the first snowfall in Ponyville. So let's get started making Dark Winter. I'm gonna be using Rainbow Dash as the base for winter. I'm gonna start off by removing her head so I can remove her hair. I like to grab it and firmly twist the head to the side until it pops right out just like this. Now to remove the hair, you need to remove the neck plug so you can have access to the hair roots and glue. So I'm using my X-Acto knife to make a series of small cuts all the way around the neck plug and then I'm just going to pull that out with my pliers. To make the process of removing the hair easier, I like to trim the hair all the way down to the scalp and that just makes pulling out the hair roots so much easier easier so once rainbow dash has her hair cut i'm gonna go in with my pliers and if you don't have pliers you can try using a pair of tweezers and i'm going to pull out all of those clumps of hair and glue until rainbow dash is completely bald and ready to be customized into winter so that head is all ready for customization. I'm gonna start working on the body. All I need to do is remove the tail. Now I'm gonna be using a really simple method of rerouting the tail today. I'm just gonna cut off the bulk of the tail and then use some tweezers to press the rest of that tail directly back 
into the body so now the head and the body are ready let's get started with the transformation i'm gonna start off by putting in the ombre details that she has at her feet and the tip of her wings i'm going to be using the sponge technique to do this and i have a makeup sponge in my hand and i am directly placing nail polish on to the sponge and you want to be really generous with the amount of polish that you use here because the sponge sponge is going to soak a lot of that up. So I'm putting in blue and then I'm going to put a stripe of black right above that blue. And I'm going to sponge this directly on to the pony's legs, making sure that I have the blue towards the bottom just like winter does and i'm going to sponge that on and you can see it's created a slight gradient effect and i'm going to repeat this process about four times until i get a really opaque coverage and a really cool ombre effect and i'm going to repeat this on all four legs that looks so cool now i'm just going to repeat it on the wings and i'm just going to use the end of the sponge so i have a smaller area to work with since the tip of the wing is really small and i'm just going to repeat this four times on the front and on the back of each wing and this looks really really cool dark winter looks so cool already now i'm gonna paint the rest of the pony black i like to put a paintbrush through the tail hole because it makes it so much easier to paint the entire pony at the same time without risking messing up the paint by touching it with your fingers so going in with black nail polish and just painting in the rest of the body and you noticed i did not remove the cutie mark with acetone like I normally do and that's because black nail polish will cover anything so there was really no need to remove it now it's time for winter's cutie mark winter's cutie mark is a snowflake so i have this nail stamping plate and i'm gonna use that smallest snowflake on the plate as her cutie mark i'm taking a little bit of white nail polish and i'm going to scrape off the excess i'm using using a pokemon card because i lost my scraper and i'm gonna use my stamper to pick that image up and my stamper is clear, so it lets me see exactly where I'm gonna place the design and I'm gonna put it right on the flank to match where Winter has her cutie mark. And that looks so, so good. That's all of the painting on the body. Now I'm gonna go over it with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. While that's drying, I'm gonna start working on Winter's head using that same sponging technique to get some ombre at the tip of her ears. I'm just going to repeat this on the front and the back. And then I'll cover the entire head with a layer of black nail polish. I personally like to mount the pony's head at the tip of my pliers. It makes it easier to paint the whole head, again, without messing up your paint job because I really hate when I stick my finger onto a layer of wet paint and then I gotta go in and fix it. So I am saving the eyes for this pony so you can see where I did not cover them up. I just like to retain the original position of the eyes it makes it so much easier to go in and create the new ones so i'm switching over to acrylic paint now and i'm using white to create the general shape of winter's eyes and now i'm going in with a bluey gray color and i'm going to actually draw in the circular portion of her eye going in with a brighter blue i'm just going to create like a gradient effect to her eye and then i'm gonna switch over to black and draw in her iris i'm gonna let that dry and then use my nail dotting technique to put two light reflections in the corner of her eye now i'm gonna cover the entire head with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in and once it has completely dried it is time for hair I'm going to be using Bobby Blue, Snow, and Black Magic from DollyHair.com to create Winter's new mane. I thought that Bobby Blue was a really good match to the 
blue I used at her hooves and her ears. I'm using my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com. It is a pronged needle and I have cut the hair to one quarter of the original length and wrapped it across my finger. Now I'm going to very carefully pick up the hair and catch it right at the tip of the needle it is really sharp so you just pick whichever hole you want that hair plug to go into and you press in and just like that that hair plug will anchor itself inside of the pony's head to recreate a winter's highlights i'm going to be giving her four streaks of blue three streaks of white and then fill in the rest with black and I'm just going to repeat this over and over again until she has a full head of hair. Once you have all the hair in the head, you're going to need to secure it or it will fall out. I typically use no sew glue, but I'm going to try a new method today and use a hot glue gun. And I'm going to just put some hot glue directly inside of the pony's head and let it completely cool down and dry. And that is what's going to anchor the hair in today. And I'm trying a new method because I have been asked by some subscribers is there a different way to secure the hair because I can't find this glue at my store I'm gonna let the hot glue completely cool down and start working on the tail I have a bunch of black white and blue and I've really really tightly twist tied it together and I'm going to take some white gorilla glue put it directly on to the twist tie and I'm even going to squirt a little bit directly inside of the pony's body and then I'm going to insert the twist tie into the tail hole and then use the end of my paintbrush to push that tail into the body. The white glue will expand and it's gonna anchor that tail safely into the pony's body. Now I'm gonna use my pliers to reattach the neck plug to the body and then I will carefully glue the head back onto the body. The custom is all done. Let's take a look at the completed OC. Here is a dark winter. And her hair looks so good. I love those streaks of blue and white. The black and the blue together just look really, really cool. And Kayla, I hope that you love your custom as much as I do. If you are interested in having your custom pony made in real life, stay tuned until the end of the video for all of the giveaway details. And again, thank you so much to Quid for sponsoring this second Fan Custom Friday this month. If you are interested in trading some Five Nights at Freddy's cards with me, you can download the app using the link below. Thank you so much for watching, Little Pandas. Until next time, bye! Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony. 
you can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector. You can message me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to Amanda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.